I don't know if the insurance sector is doing all it can, but I'm sure the insurance sector is doing a lot and is doing more and more. I think we can contribute in, uh, in many ways to the, uh, to the debate and more important to the action. Uh, the first one is through all what we have accumulated in terms of knowledge, contribute to an increase in the awareness about the, uh, the issue. Insurers are, as we all know, big data gatherers, so they have been at the forefront of the uh, understanding of what climate change means. So spreading the knowledge, increasing the awareness is important. There are two other ways we can contribute. The first one is in our product design, in the way we underwrite, in the way we interact with our clients um, very early on. We can help uh, them understand better what their risks are, what their issues are and what their behaviours are and I think this is important and becoming more selective in the way we underwrite, uh, fostering good practices in terms of environmental behaviour is something we can do and last but not least of course we are very large investors and through the way we pick our investments, through the way we measure the uh, environmental footprint of our investments we can of course uh, help uh, people invest better, we can help people not invest in uh, uh, businesses, in business models, in sectors who uh, uh, contribute to global warming and therefore are not sustainable business propositions. So as you see, three key areas. I mean, the public-private partnership is of course important because the, uh, the public sphere is setting up regulations, is creating norms, is uh, uh, a very big voice in the public debate, uh, whereas the private sector leads the investments. So having a dialogue, understanding what are the priorities, what are the key actions is something of course very, uh, very important. What we as private players would expect from the public sector beyond the awareness is to have an educated discussion on what are the norms, how could our sector contribute in, in a useful manner to the uh, debate, how can we in particular contribute to long-term investments which uh, will facilitate and encourage uh, uh, good behaviours. I'm thinking about the uh, investments in energy infrastructures uh, of the uh, new generation, this is a very important uh, element. For that, we need, of course, the public policies to be consistent. Um, the, I mean, the regulators cannot ask us, on one hand, to be more uh, environmental friendly, and on the other hand, discourage long-term investments by excessive capital charges. Mitigation and adaptation are two very important things. It's clear that the public sector can facilitate the action of the insurance sector. One of the ways to do it is to uh, uh, think through or rethink what is the regulation regarding long-term investments. We are natural long-term hands. It's uh, uh, the very interest of our clients. It's our interest, the interest of our shareholders to uh, see the uh, uh, climatic disasters recede in the long term because we've seen a very significant increase in the recent past. To do that, you have to influence investments' behaviors. Uh, to influence investments' behaviors, you have to facilitate through adequate measures investments in sector who are going to contribute to the mitigation of the problem or to the adaptation of the behaviors. For that, I think the public sector has to connect the dots between what they look at from a pure financial standpoint and what they want to foster with these environmental preoccupations. And sometimes it's not the case and I hope that the debate we are having at the OECD is going to help uh, uh, knowledge and mutual understanding progress from this standpoint.